Super Killer Hornet Resurrection is a shmup by Flump Studios. At its core, it's a fun game, however, there are undeniable issues that bog it down. The story in Super Killer Hornet is literally non-existent, as it's old school in that sense to the core. There is an arcade mode and a time trial mode, and that's about it. Arcade is really with spending most of your time in Super Killer Hornet, as it is where the meat of the game lies. What is there is fun, no doubt about it. However, there are only six levels, which is a bit short in my opinion. If you're good at shmups, you'll most likely be able to beat it within 30 minutes. I couldn't, however, beat it within that time because I suck at shmups. That's neither here nor there. That being said, Super Killer Hornet is a damn hard game, at least to me. I saw the game over screen too many times in my playthroughs. The difficulty is softened a bit though, as there is an auto bomb mode which wipes everything on the screen if you get hit as long as you have bombs. Also there are two continues which you can use throughout your adventure. Although you get to start the level over, it completely wipes your high score, which sucks. Throughout the six levels, there are some massive bosses that are all pretty varied, and for the most part were pretty fun to navigate and shoot down. However, they can be pretty difficult. If you get stuck on one for too long, you could always try a different ship though, there are three in all. But the only differences being how their shot is compared to their power. For me, I always went with the narrow, heavy shot one. When shooting, there are also two different ty fire types. A lesser damage shot that'll let you move around freely, and a power shot which does a little bit more but you give up a lot of your mobility. Now everything I said up to this point in terms of gameplay has been pretty good, so you're probably wondering if there's really anything wrong with Super Killer Hornet. Well, yeah, there is. First of all, it feels very bare bones. Only having 6 levels for a price tag that's $10, which only adds up to around 30 minutes of gameplay, is ridiculous, along with no Steam achievements or trading cards. Also, the way you get powers in this game is ridiculous. In order to power up your ship, you have to do basic math problems. I would understand if this is a possibility if the Flump was trying to go for an educational type game, but in a bullet hell, it honestly has no place. The real problem is the placement. You get your first two numbers and that's all fine and dandy, but sometimes you can never get the answer to the question because there's just a ton of bullets in the way. And you either get it or you die. And if you get the wrong answer, you get downgraded on your gun. This mechanic should have really been taken out of the game and replaced with more traditional power-up style gameplay, where you go ahead and pick it up. On the technical side of things, there are some issues as well. Sometimes when you play and there are a ton of enemies, the frame rate drops and you will see a slowdown. Also, where's the options menu? I understand that this is a port, but no, options menu to speak of is not acceptable. Super Killer Hornet also kinda looks meh. The levels themselves are okay, don't get me wrong, along with the enemies, but some of them look straight up ugly. The music is also meh. My suggestion to you is use the original soundtrack, as it is much more fitting to the game. So overall, Super Killer Hornet is a fun game at its core, but it's definitely flawed. With everything I've said above, my rating for Super Killer Hornet is a 6.5 out of 10. It's an above average game, but it could have been so much more. My name has been Andrew Holmes for TheOverShield.com, and I will see you next time.